Hey, this is Joey Davidson, Senior Editor at TechnoBuffalo.com's Gaming Section, and I'm here with a look at Lollipop Chainsaw for the Xbox 360. This game is really weird, so get ready, if you can. Just a little warning before this sequence starts up, and I'm going to let this cutscene play through in its entirety because it's absurd. This game is violent, it's got tons of sex in it, and lots of foul language, so prepare yourselves for that too. Just being ahead. But there's a lot of cool things about being ahead. First of all, I can put you in a bag and sneak you into movies for free! All right, that hardly makes up for... Carpal tunnel syndrome? You're immune. And it's totally cool! I'm like the only girl with a decapitated head for a boyfriend. I don't want to be a fashion accessory, Juliet. This is my life! I... Is that rain? Uh-oh. Hello, screenings! <laughs> Lots of tasty treats for you here, eh, you meal? <laughs> I'm guessing a giant floating Viking ship is not a good thing. Another dark purveyor. Oh, oh my gosh. That's my big sister, Cordelia. Who? My big sister, Cordelia. She's a zombie hunter, too. Really? Hey! Cordelia! Can you hear me? Hey! What's up, Juliet? Hey, Cordelia! What's up? See you in a few! Right now, I'm gonna go kick some I don't have a bladder, otherwise I'd be pissing myself right now. Alright, I guess I have a lot of explaining to do. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw is available for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It launched yesterday at the time of recording this. That was Tuesday, June 12th of 2012. Um, it is a game from Suda51 and Grasshopper Manufacturer. Suda51 is the studio that's headed up by Goichi Suda. Goichi Suda is a Japanese developer who is um, awesome but nuts. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the safest way to put that. Um, he's responsible, and I guess his studio is responsible for games like No More Heroes, and um, probably one of my favorites is just Killer7 for the GameCube. Um, that came out oh, basically a long time ago now. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw is a game that pretty much embraces absurdity. It's a it's an action title. I get stuck behind this bus door here. It's really bizarre. Um, it's an action fighting title with light RPG qualities. Think maybe a, a really bizarro God of War type game where you're kind of in it to upgrade your um, abilities, unlock new attacks, find new weaponry, and upgrade your health and strength and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it does so on top of like lots of layers of in-jokes, in-jokes if you're a fan of gaming, a fan of uh, horror film culture and stuff like that. Like for instance, the name of this high school that you're trying to defend now is, I think it's San Romero, which is obviously a nod at George Romero, the uh, director. Okay, Lollipop Chainsaw is absurd. I think you're seeing that right now. Um, if you're a fan of more traditional gaming experiences, or, or you you know you only play sports games, or you only play the really die-hard hardcore action games, or Call of Duty, or Battlefield, or whatever, you're probably looking at this and going, "What the heck is going on?" I understand that. <laughs> Between all the lollipop references, the exploding hearts and fireworks, and the rainbow chainsaw, I too was taken off guard. If you have a tolerance for these types of things, or you're totally cool with really bizarre gaming experiences, 
you might like this a lot. I'm only three or four hours into the game, and I'm actually really, really enjoying it. It's probably one of my favorite games of the year so far. I don't know how that's going to stack up over time. Um, if I get towards the end of the experience, it might really wear thin, and I might be t Look at what is happening. I don't even know what's happening right now, and I'm playing the game. In fact, I'm just going to let this play out just a little bit, and then I'll be back to explain some more about what Lollipop Chainsaw brings to the table. Kill him anyway. <laughs> Juliet, this place is falling apart. I wonder what they have. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so you guessed it, that was uh, some more of the licensed music from the shop. The game's actually filled with licensed tracks, and they're all very girly at, 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 and, you know, in nature. And I think that's one of the things that I like about this game, is it's really, really bizarre in the way that it juxtaposes stuff like, you know, typical girly culture um, next to these ridiculous horror elements. And that's one of the reasons why I think I've been enjoying it so much, because it's just such a unique take on gaming itself. I mean, I play a lot of games on a day-to-day -day basis, and I'm really, really growing tired of the run-of-the-mill shooters and everything else. Not that I don't enjoy those games. I like them, they're out there, and, and I, I will obviously keep playing them for their high production values and great qualities, but I do like getting games that challenge the norm and, and challenge what it means to be a gamer. Um, this is ridiculous. And I, I, you're either gonna gonna love the over violence or, or the the sexism, or you're not. And I personally thought that the that the sexist stuff was gonna drive me nuts. And at times it is a little bit overbearing, but in the spirit of the game and of, of the <laughs> just messed that one up, and of the kind of grindhouse pulpy genre, it works. I don't know what Suda Fifty One was on when they were making this, but it, it comes together. Um, overall, so far, I'm really enjoying Lollipop Chain, so I will be reviewing the game in full later down the line. Uh, but right now, I'm enjoying it for what it is, an over-the-top, no-holds-barred fun action title, and it seems to pack with it a lot of replayability, and, and that's cool. I enjoy it for that, and it's well-made. Uh, it's not for everyone. I know there's some people that are sitting there on YouTube watching this thinking, what the heck did I just watch? I totally appreciate that. But if you're into unique experiences and you're looking for a different type of game, uh, consider picking up Lollipop Chainsaw. I know it's already on sale at some places, so I think I saw 45 bucks on Amazon or something like that, so 
Anyway, I'm gonna let this play out, and you're gonna see an awesome quick time event where I use the head of my deceased or not so deceased boyfriend to control a zombie body. Yeah, seriously. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I will catch you later. I think that's rather irrelevant, considering my situation. I don't know. We could take a skin sample and put it in a Petri dish and use magic to grow a baby. Well, maybe. Cool! There's a 50% chance it will be a cannibal. Say no. Let's pop you on this. Wow. What? Awesome, Nick. You're the best. Let me take care of this, Juliet. I'll just raise my fist and. Ah! Nice. Ah! <laughs> I use magic. <laughs>